you folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. How is everybody? I hope you guys are not sore like I am. I think everything in my body hurts. I got this wild hair yesterday and I started cleaning and I felt so good. And I scrubbed toilets, I did floors, I It was even, weird. I even cleaned out cupboards in the bathroom, got, threw away old makeup products. I just was going like a busy little bee till like 9.30 at night. And then all of a sudden I stood up and I just went, oh my gosh. I hurt right here, right here, right here. Yeah. And then down and here, Harry had to put, um, Hot pads on my hands. My neck is sore. Oh my gosh. That's because she actually did some work. That's right. I did. And I was going crazy. I mean, I just, I loved it. It was great. I had all this energy well, and stuff. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. You loved it so much. <laughs> and I will let you Be handle careful. it from You're now treading on. on. You're treading on thin ice. Uh-huh. 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 Only thing I didn't do was sweep, I mean, is vacuum because that really kills my back. And actually, I swept, and I think that's what really bothered my back. Anyway, you guys, I had to take Tylenol. I had to take Tylenol this morning because right here, right here, man, I got a knot. It's killing me. Harry used yeah. Arnica on me and waved his magic wand and right, everything. My pants feel better. Man. <laughs> He did, he did, because you guys, we went shopping yesterday too. We did some things yesterday that we filmed that we're doing standalone because remember, for all of you folks who are regular viewers and for the new folks, Harry is having eye surgery on the 26th of February this month. And he's not gonna be able to potentially see for a few days and we wanna have content that we can play while he's recuperating. So we're shooting some stuff in addition to what we normally share here so you guys won't miss a beat when we're, when Harry's recuperating. So we did some stuff yesterday and um, you guys will see that when he has his eye surgery. But anyway, you guys, I digress because everything you do the day before, and oh yeah, I did arm exercises too. I kind of like threw some injury into that my arms are like killing me but oh my gosh i felt so good i really did and i feel good other than this area right here and right here and right here yeah exactly oh, yeah show the places it doesn't it's hurt heck getting older folks let me tell you every day you wake up you're a day older just remember that i don't think uh, anybody has a problem remembering that one everything you do the day before and sometimes two days prior have a direct effect on your weight they do water <laughs> retention is huge because you guys do you guys want to know why you guys i went up a whole pound yesterday well i think that's because you work so much i do time. i know that's what it is and i took tylenol and i took tylenol today too you guys harry went down four tenths of a pound yeah. And he ate the same. We went out. We did everything, you know, the same. But he was busy uh, getting our chewing the fat segment up while I was just going to town. I was just enjoying myself, huh, Harry? Yep. Just busy little bee. I just stood there and watched. I didn't say anything. Now, this morning, you guys, Harry always takes what we had to, yesterday to eat, and then he puts it over on the big board. So I'm here this morning, and I wiped out... I started erasing the bottom, and then I thought, oh shoot, we have to show you guys what we had. So I don't have this part, but Harry has it over on the big no, board. No, no, no. Yes, you do. Oh, I do. Okay. Yes, you do. That's right. I put it up there. I forgot. Silly boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yesterday, I had three eggs and three pieces of bacon. We went to a place called Joe's Diner, and uh, we had, I had chicken. Barbecue chicken Jihu sauce. We had chocolate mint keto chow ice cream last night. Collagen, and I don't have this, but it'll be over on the big board. Harry had four eggs and bacon. He had a uh, white chicken breast, which he loves, and he had the Jihu's barbecue sauce. He had chocolate mint ice cream and collagen, you guys. So we, we were totally keto, but I know mine is water weight. I'm not even worried about it, but you guys, Today is a 20 hour fast. It's an OMAD day. It's carnivore, you guys, so eat your meat. Take a walk. 
So here's the deal with carnivore for everybody that's new or for people who aren't, uh, don't know that much. Carnivore means you get to eat all the meats. You get, you get beef, you get chicken, you get pork, you get lamb, you get venison, you get buffalo, bison, turkey, you know, you can have goose, you can have all the eggs, you can have cheeses, you what can have fish? dairy, you can have fish, you can have shellfish, you can have shrimp. So it's, it's limitless on that part of the scale, but you're not having any veggies today. No veggies, none. So, um, and you make one big, huge, nice meal and it's delicious. So that's what we're doing today. Um, Harry and I are going to take Hazel. Hazel's our new little car, if you guys don't know. We're taking Hazel. We're picking mom up. Um, and we're going to go out to Chalices and just do a little drive-by. Um, we are kind of in, qu not quarantine. We're trying to stay away from... People. People, other than like at a restaurant where you're, you know, more secluded or at a store where you're wearing a mask because Harry has to take a, a zombie apocalypse test uh, seven days before he has his eye surgery and that has to be negative in order for him to have it. And uh, day after tomorrow, we have to go to his pre-op surgery. So we've got a lot to do that way. Anyway, you guys, let's go to the big board, Harry. Okay, so here's what we had yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs, bacon, and chicken, chicken keto chow. Yeah. What were the calories? Wendy. Right here. Wendy had 1,264. I had 1,432. So that's why you went down. But you can see that was reflected here. Yeah, but, I... wait a minute. But you also have to look back at other things like, like the... Um, the fact that we went out to eat. Over here, we went out to eat, see? Mm-hmm. That was on uh, Friday, right? Saturday. Saturday. It says Saturday. Saturday. It says Saturday there. <laughs> and um, uh, 1674 kept me the same and the same with Wendy, 1544. I had a lot. 1544 yeah, she had a lot. And she still stayed the, the same. same. And then I ate less and I went up a pound. So, so that means you have to me that means you have to drill down into these calories aren't because calories kind of they they do they do matter right calories do matter a if lot if you overeat so like your the calories first place to look right. to see what's going on to see if you're gaining weight because of too many calories and if, if you notice that you're eating less calories and you're gaining weight and you're eating more calories and you're losing weight well it's, there's something else and that's why you need to drill down into the uh, fats and the protein and the carbohydrates yes I agree. I had a little bit of a scare in the shower. I had a wad of hair at the, my feet at the end of the shower. I mean, a lot of hair, huh, Harry? I was really upset about that. And I've been taking my pro, my um. Maybe you're shedding because the the weather's well, people changing. People do shed, but not like that. So I were you too close to the nuclear power plant, Harry? No. <laughs> No, this is serious. You've got to be serious. Oh, okay. I'm Have sorry. Serious. Seriousness, seriousness. So, seriousness. I am upping my protein. I am going to try to stay in the 1300s, and I'm making protein even more of a priority. I'm going to buy some more. I'm going to buy more turkey and more chicken and pork that's leaner so I can have more protein um, and a little less fat so my calories are brought up. I may have three collagens a day, you guys, because that really bothered me. Now, for some of you who don't know, I was born with 75% hearing loss. And I was so good at reading lips that if I had my back turned to my parents about two years old is when it really started showing up because my parents thought I was just being stubborn and I wasn't listening to them. And so I was getting into trouble. Well, my mom took me to an eye, ear, nose, and throat specialist and he said, you I guess he bawled my mom out, but basically said, ah, oh, you silly woman, uh, your child is almost de totally deaf. So I had to have uh, surgery. I had to have radium treatments. Yeah, when I was rods. two and a half years old, they shoved rods up and burned the tissue away and in my ears to burn all the tissue that was causing the issues. And because of the radium treatments I had when I was two and a half, I've had to have my thyroid checked 
all the time. Yeah. Now, I have a nodule on my thyroid, which can be normal. Your thyroid's kind of lumpy anyway, and I had a scare in Washington, and that was nine years ago now. I had to have a biopsy. They hung my head off the end of the thing and took a biopsy and did all kinds of stuff to see if it was cancerous. Well, that's benign, but it's pretty big. You know, if I move a certain way, you can see the lump in my, in my throat. So I'm thinking I need to go and have a whole nother panel done. I've never been low thyroid, but you know how that goes. If you guys do any reading, you can have hidden thyroid issues. So I need to go have that done, but I am going to concentrate on lowering my fat mom anyway um i need to keep on top of that but the thyroid specialist who did the biopsy who got the results told me that because of my age i probably won't and thyroid cancer is the number one issue from having radium treatments and they did that in the 50s and the 60s that's something they did he said i'm old enough that that isn't going to happen anymore from the radium treatments, but you need to um, check into it and make sure you stay on top of your thyroid. So that's what I need to go do. After we get Harry done, I need to make an appointment. I need to go have a complete thyroid panel and workup done to see where I am at. But that scared me, you guys. I'd show you that wad of hair, but I think hair is kind of gross. It's one of those gross things that I don't need to share it. But I was like, oh my gosh, where did all that hair come from? It freaked me out. So anyway, you guys, I'm just saying that the first thing you guys need to do, especially as you get older, anytime you guys, 40, 50, 60s, 70s, you need to start adding more protein because you need one gram of protein per one pound of lean body mass. And as you get older, you may need to up that a little bit. Um, even though the ketogenic diet, they say, whoever they are, that it's a moderate protein and a high fat diet, I think as you get older, you need to work those. You need to work that in your system. And we were eating high fat to begin with, and that really worked for us. But I think now I need to kind of come down on the fat so I can add more protein, get another 100 calories or so into the 1300s to help my body because something's causing the extra hair loss. Now, I've been exercising this month. I've been doing a lot. Uh, stress can do that. We have a lot of stress going on because of the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus. Um, Harry's has up and coming surgery that we've been working to get done with that, what, three months now, four months now, mm -hmm. trying to get a spot surgery wise and everything else is uh, Maricopa County where we live in. Uh, the virus has spiked, you know, all of the good things. So anyway, you guys, just note to self. It, the older you get, the more protein you need. You need one gram of protein per lean pound body mass. Now, LBM, lean body mass. I am 120 pounds. Harry's 133 pounds lean body mass. If you guys want to know how to figure out your lean body mass weight, just go in the description below. Click on our website link. Go to our website and we have a little calculator that you just punch in the numbers. You can do it in pounds and you can do it in, um, uh, what's, what's European uh, stones scale? Stones or centimeters. Kind of stuff, yeah. I'm sorry, you guys, I can't remember, but you can do it in European and uh, US. So figure that out and I would strive to hit that every day. And we haven't been doing that. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just incorporate that in my Move to Lose It Challenge of February. Hey, you guys, how's everybody doing on the Move It to Lose It Challenge? Are you guys doing better than you did in January? I think everybody's kind of settled back in to um, your a routine and lifestyle. And you guys are back like we are. I hope everybody is. Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody's staying healthy. And you guys... Don't forget, you said on the last video that you were going to make. Oh, that's right. Okay, so remember, we're ahead of ourselves so that we are doing the same day you are when you see it. So I said I was going to make uh, red velvet chaffles on 
chewing the fat segment yesterday. Well, I can't do it today because it's a carnivore day. So I will be bringing those to you tomorrow. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. But hey, you guys, we are going to go take a ride today. We're going to get into Hazel, our new little car, go pick mom up, get Sally all ready to go. And we'll share some of the things that we do. And then we'll share our OMAD one meal a day carnivore meal when we have it. So stay tuned, everybody. Okay, everybody, we just got back from Bash's, and you guys, they're having a magnificent meat sale. Today was the last day, but I got 97 cents a pound. Their pork loin country style ribs for $5.36. And it's 5.53 pounds. I got two packages of the chicken leg quarters. This was on sale for $1.49 a pound. And then I got the uh, chicken thighs, and it was frozen. So we're going to have one of these tonight. I got three bags of pork rinds. We don't have anything to munch on in case we need to take a pill or something. Yeah. And you guys... And we need three bags because we take a lot of pills. Heinz pickles were my favorite in the entire world. Why don't they carry Heinz pickles? Dill pickles or pickle chips. The only place you can get them is in Europe anymore. They're like nine, they're like 40 bucks on Amazon. What? They're my favorite, yes. What did this happen? Heinz pickles, I don't know. Mount Olive is the closest, so I got some pickle chips. I got this 505 Southwestern Medium Tomatillo Garlic and Lime Salsa that I think I'm gonna pressure cook the country ribs in and make kind of a uh, pork verde. Yeah. You know, something like that. And I bought a two-pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. Good thing. I bought my beer and brat mustard. I love oh. it. I love this one. They had one Just little Just because it's got the name beer in it, right? One. One. That's it? Yep. Wow. Um, I'm going to have to, like, really dole that out slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I got two ground uh, turkey, Jenny O ground turkey, because I want to start having more mm. poultry because it's leaner. I can have more protein with less fat. So I can uh, start eating more protein this next couple weeks. I got some Arrowhead sparkling water, and this one is the pomegranate lemonade, and I got my beloved Perrier strawberry flavor. Now, so a lot of you guys tried the Keto Chow uh, tomato soup base, and you guys said it smelled like dirty socks. I haven't tried it yet, but I am gonna make on Wednesday, I'm gonna make um, dirty sock soup. No, oh. meat lovers pizza. I got baby pepperonis. I'm gonna put Ooh. beef in it. I'm gonna put mozzarella cheese in it. I'm gonna put basil. I'm gonna doctor it. I'm gonna taste it, and I'll let you guys know. So stay tuned for Wednesday because Wednesday is the one big bowl of soup, and that's what uh. I'm making. So we'll see. We'll see. Sometimes things that don't smell right taste good. So I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll see you guys. Yeah. So. I'm gonna put all this away. And I'm gonna stand here and watch Today you. is Carnivore OMAD Day. We have been all over God's creation. We had to go find out where we need to go Tuesday for Harry's uh, pre-op and stuff. So we're late to the party on eating. So we are gonna cook yes. chicken thighs in the air fryer, you what guys. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Oh my it's God. Way time to eat. I know you've been complaining for the last hour. Yeah. So we Gee, drove back to why. Chalice's. And um, then we drove from there way out. Then we did grocery shopping and stuff. So anyway, you guys, let me put this away. Let me get this air fryer. Let me pop the chicken in. Get it seasoned with, oh, I don't know. Let's see. Close your eyes. Byron's butt rub. Oh, yeah, man. Because a little bit of butt rub makes everything better. That's what I'm using, you guys. So I got to get that in. Got to get this stuff put away. And got to eat. We'll be back. When it's chicken. What do you got? Got Ooh. our chicken quarters in. Yeah. Garlic and Byron's butt rub. Gonna put these bad boys in. I'm gonna cook them at 400. They're on 15 minutes. Gotta get the rest of the stuff put away. Get my pickles put away, my mustard put away, my tomatillo garlic sauce put away. Goes in the pantry. Is there room? I don't know. Let's go see. Ooh, nice and yellow in here. <laughs> Look at my, this is one of my pantries. You guys, I have all my um, 
food, food. Hmm, let me see. And then over I'm here, look at this, this, you guys. See these boxes down here? That's my emergency food. Well, that's not all of it. Then there's that's a whole my, I got a whole bunch here. of emergency food. And that's unfortunately when we were vegan. Yeah, because see, it's rice and I flakes I would use and the potatoes. rice and the flakes and the potatoes. And then you guys, look in here. I don't know, what do you think? Keto Central. Yeah, pretty much. Whole chicken meat, in case we need something. Coconut aminos. We got some of everything, but you guys, you think I'm bad. Look at Sally's cupboard and our meat cap. Look at this. That's Sally's up top. Woo! I shouldn't be buying anything. That's Sally's. I figure we could eat that dried junk if it Well, we could. Out. We could eat the dried chicken. We could eat the dried liver. Absolutely. Where am I? Yeah, hey, look, you're encringing on my stuff. Well, there's no room. Right? That's where mine goes. All These right. are Sally's. All right. Beef and cheese. See if you can get up there without something falling out. Oh, you cheat. Ta da! <laughs> yep. Emergency radios. I'm worried about having enough food. Yep. I don't think we have to worry. No. There's overflow under here, but you can't see it. Yeah, it's just. This is some more stuff down here. You can't see because it it's too dark. It is, but look, I got I got egg powder. Yep. I got egg cheese powder. Yep. I got beef. Chicken. I got all of these. Chili. Yep. You know what? We learned because in Washington, here, let's get out of here because the light's not good. But mm -hmm. we learned in Washington State, you guys, that you needed to have emergency food because we'd be without power for about two to three weeks every year yeah. where we lived oh, yeah. up in the mountains. Easy. No and power. No power generator, sometimes no generator. We had a gas stove. Um, here, I'll come over here, babe. We had all of that. So, you know, I also have this all filled with stuff. I probably don't need to go grocery shopping. Look at my my freezer's full again. But that's just the way I roll because we've given neighbors food. We've given, you know, water. We've done all that. We gave our kids some of our food. And that food that's packaged and boxed is like 25 year shelf life. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it is what it is. But I am like a Boy Scout. I'm always prepared. Yes, indeed. Yep. Okay, Harry, let's get my period put away. Because we're going to be eating in just a little bit. Chicken. Doesn't that smell good already? You can smell the garlic. Mm. So you guys, when it's chicken. They came. My flu fogs came. Both of them at the same time. I'm so excited. It's almost 8 o'clock at night, but they came. Woo! Merry Christmas to me. And Santa was extra special because he let me get two pairs. Yes, he did, because he's special Such a Santa. pushover. He is a special Santa. Mm, yeah, okay. I'll say. You guys, I know you guys think I'm crazy, and I'm sorry, but I am. Okay, let's no, see which ones these are. That way. Let's see which ones these are. Mm -hmm. Let me put that way over there. Don't trip on it. Oh, Santa, you're so good to me. These are the peacemakers. These are the anagrams, anagrams. Is well, see, they put a little style? picture on the outside of the box, too, yes. don't they? Yes. But wait, there's more. Ooh, I got the Fluvod Post. It's oh, our good. catalog of all the new shoes. Oh, no. So you can spend Look, more money. Look, got more. Oh, how cute are those? Look at these. Oh, I like this black and white ones right there, the little stripe. But... You were probably worried Ooh, that you were going to send them any money so they could make their Ooh, Mercedes look at these. Oh, well, you know what? I'll have to look through these. I'll have to look through these. So you give me a little card. And they give you a little shoe sack. When you, when you take your shoes on the road, you've got a nice little dust sack to put them in. Lots of people took these to their um, dressmaker or to the tailor and had face masks made out of them because they're cute. Oh, that's a neat idea, huh? Yeah. Always hold on to the truth. Don't let others sway your heart. Don't compromise yourself for the sake of temporal grooviness. Be separate from the crowd that's awash with normality by standing on a firm foundation. Never waver in your love or faith. And in all you do, please wear my shoes. John Flubog. I love it.
I think that's so cool. So let's see what they got. Let's see, let's see. Mm, aren't those pretty? Yes, I'm crazy. <laughs> I am crazy. Yes, well, I put am. Put that up so I can see them. Well, I gotta take them out of the beautiful box. We got little velvet bows. And they have Be True to Yourself, John Fluvog. And then he signs them. He does, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Take it out. Got little, little velvet huh? bows. I love it. I'll have to try those on. But wait, there's more. So excited. Uh, am I like a kid in a candy store? Oh, see? Look at what they do. This is my hot flu care tips, and they tell you how to take care of it, alcohol and other solvents, let's see. Like the ones you love most, this flu vog requires a little extra care and attention. Carefully handcrafted from delicate specialty materials, they are at their best when treated gently with the utmost affection. Please keep them away from alcohol and other solvents, dark or heavily printed materials, and excessive abrasion. Don't want to abrase them. But I like them because you guys can send them to them. You can get them rehealed. You can get them resold, which is a good thing. Yeah. And I like them because with my hip and my balance, I need a thick, sturdy heel. Yes, I do. And look, they even come with suction cup heels. Harry, be nice. Ooh, I know you don't. Walk up walls. These were on sale. Let's see what they gave me. Oh, they gave me some stickers. Oh, how cute. They give you all kinds of cute things. And each person that does them gives you something cute. This one gives us a story about himself. You get your receipt, which keep them all. Because believe it or not, you guys, flu bogs are totally collectible. And once this is gone and this color and this style, it will never come back. And it's called a flu unicorn. Let's open the next part of the collection. No, we want this my other Christmas present. Oh, you know what, Harry? I forgot. I forgot to tell Santa my birthday's coming up in March. Just in time for, oh, I know, I know. Santa, Santa for the has flu left vog the building. Post. Look, for the flu vog post. Oh These are those God. shoes I showed you you had to fit over. <laughs> you guys know your man really loves you when he lets you buy flu vogs, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Or he's freaking crazy. Well, you would be crazy. Me. Oh, look, this one even was wrapped. Cute. Cute, cute. These ones are uh, champies. They're wonders. They're from the Wonder Collection. And they're champies. These ones are black and white. Hand embroidered. I'm excited because... Oh! oh, look, they gave look at there. I got some socks. Woo! Cute. More crazy socks. More crazy socks. Look at these. Oh, I like those purple. Look, that would go with me. I have one. Am I purple and black boots? Yeah, would work today, huh? Purple and black boots? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh, wow. Look at this. This What's is that? full of goodies. This person, I like this person. <gasps> look, they gave me a little sucker. Well, that's your husband. And they gave me some shoes, little Barbie shoes. Each one, they do, they all have these cute little things they send to you. So, some care instructions, my champy information, how to heal, how to take care of it, all the good stuff, how exciting is that? But let's get to the good stuff. Again, you get a duster to take yours in. A duster. I'm excited about these. I always liked, ladies, you remember spectator pumps, black and white, blue and white, red and white. Well, that's what these reminded me of. Oh, my God. Aren't those pretty? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Aren't those, those pretty? Those are you, Wendy. Huh? Those are you. These are me. Oh, these yeah. are so me. Oh, my gosh, these are me. They look better in, on, in person Aren't than they did in the pages. They do. These ones, oh, you're a natural wonder, John Fluvog. 
Nice, eh? I am so excited. Oh, you guys, John Fluvog started the shoe industry in 1970, and his first shoe store, he stole, he sold Doc Martens. Yes, he did. Remember those, ladies and gentlemen? I love these. Look at those. Not to be confused with the TV show. No. Doc Martin. You're right, but we love that too. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. You guys, I'm going to try these on. Of course. Should I put them on with a pair of socks, with my new socks, or should I put them on Let's by continue the agony. Well, you don't have to film it. I'm just going to try them on, and then... Yeah, right. And then... And no, you don't have to film. Well, I go on this see is mine. a keto channel. We don't have to film. That's I true. Gotta, I go, you got to fix this because one's longer than the other. And I don't know how to fix it to tie it this way. Anyway, you guys will come back in a minute and I'll, I'll model my shoes. I will. Sorry, I will. And these are? Chompies from the Wonder Collection. Aren't they pretty? Look at them. I need a nice black sharp pencil skirt. Some cute white polka dotted nylons. Ooh, some gold jewelry. Well, I have to take you out in those. Yeah, aren't they cute? Yeah, they look cute. I like them. Yeah, wow. Huh? Aren't they cute? Yeah. You can wear them burgundy and red. Yeah. Aren't they pretty? Yep, they are neat. So what's the name of these ones? These are Chompies. Champies from the Wonder Collection. Let's see a side shot of them. There you go. Yeah. Neat. I think they're cute. Cute. Cute, cute, yeah. everybody. Cute. I just wanted to share. Okay, got to go now and dry my shoes. And you got to help me get off the floor. Okay. Hey, Harry. Yeah. Remember I pickled these eggs a few weeks ago? Yes, that's right. You want right. some pickled eggs? Yes, I do. You want to try one? Yeah, I'll take one right now. Let's see. I take all my pickle juice. And I make hard-boiled eggs, and I just drop it into the pickle juice when the pickle jar is empty. In fact, I think we covered that in one yeah, well, issue, didn't we? I don't remember. Let me get a, let me get a fork. Pickle egg. Try one. Oh, from down at the bottom. Is that where they're all the yeah, best? Yeah, man. That's where the, I don't know. Sounds good. Oh, the pressure is... Well, look how pretty it is. You can tell it's really pickled. Well, that's because... I peeled them. It's yellow. You're dripping. Here. Oh, boy. What? Here. Yes. <laughs> Just eat your... Eat it. Taste it. Mm. Really yeah, good? That is real good. Show that. Let me see it. Well, take a bite. Now show the... Oh, yeah. It's, it's pickled all the way through. Look at that. It got yellow all the way through. Mm -hmm. The white did. Yeah. So that was just about right, huh? Mm. Really good. Oh, I'm glad. I like a little salt on them, though, too. Well, the salt's right behind you. Anyway, folks, just wanted to share. We got pickled eggs, too. Super easy to do. So, chicken's done. I weigh them with the bones on. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Weigh this one. This one will be the first of many. 13. I'm going to give that to you. This one is mine just because it's in and out and I'm not worried about it. Oh, 13. Wow. They're Boy, exactly they're the same. The same. Huh? Maybe they're off the so, same chicken. So, could be. So, I write 13 here. And then when we get the bones, we weigh those and we deduct it and then we know what, what we've eaten. So, here's the deal. I'm putting these other chicken breasts. Chicken legs, chicken thighs, chicken thighs. Chicken something. Tough suckers is what they are. In here, we are hungry and we want to start eating. Yeah. Gosh. Going on what? 37 hours since we ate? No. 23. Total. Same thing. Same thing. Let me get a little bit more on here. Empty. Harry's running on empty. He's running on empty. Okay, you guys. Did I put garlic on that? Probably not, because you're in my way, little boy. Love garlic. Yes, indeed. Okay, we're going to put this in. 
and then I'm gonna turn it on. But before I do, we're gonna go ahead and close out this vlog because we're having chicken for dinner and Harry's having an egg and he's having a little bit of my steak that was left, little three ounce pieces of steak and two eggs and more chicken to come. But we're gonna start eating now. If you guys like what you see today, please remember, oh, before we do that, guys, tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Let me cross oh, this off. Okay. We're done with this. Tomorrow's Tuesday, the 9th. No fast day when hungry. Ooh. No snacks. Lift some weights, you guys. We're going to go for a walk tonight after dinner because it's absolutely beautiful, you guys. I mean, I've got capris on. I've got cute little shoes on. We're just going to take Sally and go around the block and have a nice walk. Um, anyway, you guys, now, if you like what you see, please remember to like. That helps us tremendously. Please subscribe so that you get notified that we've uploaded a new video. That's the ring the little bell, right, Harry? I did it backwards, sorry. Yeah, that's right. You, you ring the little bell. You got it, you got ring it, though. It's good. It's and good. then give us a thumbs up, you guys. That moves us up to the front of the line helps us get out to the YouTube universe so other people like you can find us. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Mm, so, are you going to let it rest or do I no, get to eat it? No, you get to eat it right now. Seriously? Yes, and I'm going to turn this on. 90, and I'm going to set this for 20 minutes. And it's going. I'm going to put this away. You can have yours. You know what I'm having on mine, maybe? Maybe a little G Hughes.